I would like to welcome you all in the lecture series of Power Electronics. Uh, in this session, I am going to discuss the ex the working of current source inverter. What is the meaning of current source inverter? First of all, we'll understand the basics. Here, uh, the current source inverter is a type of inverter that produces AC output by controlling the current rather than voltage. Okay, so the main strategy is here. Uh, your like uh, output is controlled by current uh, in spite of uh, the voltage. Okay, you can call current source inverter as current fed inverter. That is another speciality. Also, uh, it is a like a current source because it operates nearly the constant DC current and at the input. So at the input we are providing the constant DC current rather than voltage. Similarly. Uh, output if you see that it will be like a constant DC voltage. However, the main parameter uh, to control the uh, output voltage is actually the constant DC current. Okay, that's a key point of current source inverter. However, we can say the input current that is constant. All right. So uh, we can uh, using that particular current you are going to control uh, the output voltage. Moving on to the further discussion. So if you see the input, we'll be getting like a constant DC current. That is another speciality. Uh, so which is achieved by using large inductor series with the DC source. How you are going to get the constant DC current? You know that inductor, you can see the inductor. Okay. Uh, so inductor oppose the change in current, right? So the same thing you are going to apply here. That means you might have heard about dA by dt, correct? So the series inductor reduce the value of dA by dt. Similarly, we can say the inductor keeps current stable by resisting the rapid changes. So uh, the series inductor is one of the heart of the current source inverter. Okay, because it's connected series so that it will oppose the changes in the current. That point you have to note down. And uh, this is basically uh, the application of lens rule you might have studied in the Faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction. While we are talking about the switching devices, so it uses like uh, popular switches like uh, transistors, especially MOSFET and IGBT. Uh, so that is mainly used for the direction of uh, controlling the direction of current flow and the timing. Uh, so another important thing is uh, these switches alternate to create AC waveform by routing the DC current through the different path of the current, resulting in alternating current at the output. So I'm going to show you the uh, switching operation of CSI uh, in the next slide. So time being, you can understand that using the power switches, you are going to control the direction of current in different direction so that uh, you can expect the particular result, which is desired for you. So this is regarding the switching uh, devices. Okay. So now let me see the circuit diagram. So as you can see, uh, first of all, we need to produce the constant current, right? So how to produce the current? So you can see uh, the current will be produced by the supply voltage with series with the, the inductor, you can see. Now, so the input, at the input side, we have like uh, one switch is available. Uh, then there is one LC, there is one LC circuit. Okay, there is one LC circuit. Then there is one freewheeling diode, which is available here. So this is actually like a production of current, right? Next, there is a series inductor. This is your series inductor. You can note down. Series inductor. Uh, which will uh, reduce the fluctuation of the current. Then we have main switching devices, Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. Then load will be connected over there. So this is a basic circuit diagram of current source inverter. So the first, but we require additional stages. That is a major issue of using the current source inverter. But uh, the load which will work with uh, high harmonics you can easily use current source inverter. I will tell you the advantages and disadvantages later on. 
if i talk about like output waveform so output waveform that will be like uh, ac current only correct uh, so with respect to the frequency and amplitude which you can control by using the pw right next is output if you observe now the main thing is the output is squared shaped waveform that is a major issue of uh, current source inverter where the harmonic content is exponentially high okay so output waveform will not be purely sinusoidal say square shape that you can note down the waveform will be in this fashion so we, we have four switches so you need to turn on uh, like uh, the switches by providing suitable gating pulse g1 g2 g3 g4 however two switches will be operating simultaneously so output waveform if you observe you'll be getting the square waveform correct so that is the major issue of current source inverter so that point you are supposed to remember actually we require sinusoidal but we are expecting we are uh, getting the square waveforms that is another issue of current source inverter so what kind of load you are going to use for current source inverter major application like inductive loads especially motors okay so motor can handle like a high heavy inductive load can handle harmonics effectively so like uh, it can handle uh, the harmonic efficiently so if you are using the highly inductive load you can use the csi there is no need to worry but the load is, loads like lighting load so harmonic content is not advisable right so that is actually regarding load requirement now you can see the switching pattern so here it is very clearly written like state then state number switching state output current and components conducting so here first of all s2 s1 and s2 are on see s1 and s2 so we can see like see s1 and s2 are on then s4 and s uh, s3 are off this one this is off okay only these two are on then we call this is a state number one switching state will be like a one one zero zero correct so the output current that is equal to il it will be that means it will be the positive direction whenever uh, like uh, you are turning on s3 and s4 now i am going to turning on s3 and s4 second state you can check it up the second state so you are turning on s3 and s4 by turning off q2 and q1 that is parallel you are doing so at the time like the state will be second you are getting like output is 0 0 1 1 you are getting minus il that is the second condition same that similar to that of voltage source inverter which i already discussed in my previous session now we will talk about like a S3 and S2 are off. That means S3 and S4 are off. S1 and S4 are on. Such, that condition is called state number 3. So switching operation is 1, 0, 0, 1. So output is 0. Here S3 and S2 are on. Then S1 and S2, S4 are off then the condition is 0, 1, 1, 0. So output again 0. So remember, uh, you, will, you, are, you are getting output only during uh, the specific condition such as state number 1 and 2. You are getting output. Rest of the condition output is 0 only. That point you are supposed to remember. Okay. So this is regarding the operation of full bridge CSI. Is a full bridge CSI current source inverter. Remember the state and you can check the operation and you can verify it. So you can calculate the load current using the formula. So this is the load current. You can compute the load current. Okay. 
So I L stand for the load current. Delta stand for the angle load angle. Okay. Also, we can determine harmonics using this equation. So the applications are VFT variable, sorry variable speed drive. Okay, VSD. Uh, so it is mainly used for industrial motor drives. So constant current is the advantage of this particular system. The simplified diagram is given here. We are like a voltage plus this inductor. You can see here, this become like a CF, like a current source. Okay, current source. Then you are using the switching devices and they fed to the induction motor. Output waveform will be like a squared. So for the better understanding, we can see the DC source, then chopper. Later you are producing current source. We have a DC link and a DC link capacitor. You are utilizing current source inverter, then supply to induction motor. So that's a like application that is current source inverter. Moreover, you can use it for induction heating and uh, welding machine as well, where the harmonic conduct doesn't affect much. Main plus point is it ensure high reliability and uh, fault tolerance. So moreover, we can say like uh, it is a simple reactive load. So reactive power compensation is very simple, especially uh, current source inverter compared to voltage source inverter. Moreover, we can save the cost of feedback diode. However, we have to see the following drawbacks, complex input circuitry. We require additional stages, need extra stages. Okay, for light load, there's a stability issue because it generates high harmonic content. Because of high harmonic content, it is suitable only for inductive load, heavy load, heavy inductive load, not for resistive load, especially lighting load. Compared to like a voltage source inverter, efficiency is drastically down. So these are the major setback of current source inverter. In this video, I have discussed about, first of all, I discussed what is the significance of current source inverter. Later, I discussed about the switching pattern and switching devices, which is used in the CSI. Then I have shown you the anticipated waveforms of current source inverter. Then load requirement I talked about, it is suitable for high inductive load. Switching pattern also I have given the brief introduction. Then calculation of load current. Then they listed out the application, then advantages and disadvantages. If you have any queries, please do let me know. You can put up the comment box. I'm going to reply. Thank you so much for watching this video. Happy learning. Have a great day.